Okay. Let's head into this little cavern, shall we, and see what's going on here. I don't know where we are on the map. Um, I can't, like, zoom out on this map, can I? Okay, I can see the whole map. Far out, there's a whole crazy area. Looking cool. Did he say something and I missed it? Uh, is there, a, like, a chat log? No. What's this? Okay, so we got, like, information oh, and images on each single one. <coughs> Pardon me. Pretty cool. I like it. Law scribbles. I can put my own notes. Okay. And the story so far. All right. Let's get going. Quick save straight away. Why is there a room? In okay. This is like a maybe like a I don't know a city that was once. Yeah. More of a keep, isn't it? Okay. Jeez, we need a paladin. It's massive axes they got. Love it. At least everyone. Oh no, you're at. Whoa! What a spectacular attack! Saving that one up, hey? Oh, I can't get them both in. It's just down attacks. Put some beehives down or something. Um, everyone's got nothing. We may as well try and take one out first, hey? Eh? It will heal you up. Oh, actually, you're the one that can do the damage. 100%. Okay, I think the music there. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna friggin' wonder how he died. Man. Alright, I don't need the bug thing anymore. Um it'd be decent. Side attack. Oh Get them both. Ominous Chain Greaves. Would you like to wear these Ominous Chain Greaves? Oh. Are we bleeding again? Bleeds a pain because it's like one stack. We won't do it right now. Um, nothing new for us. All good. Linen, Grave Moss. What's over here? What happened here? It looks like the ground split open. Everything just collapsed. What would cause such a thing? Oh, yeah, true. Four HP with one piece of bleed. Fine, we have to rest. We have to either rest or use bandages. We'll just rest enough to... On the side of this cliff. Um, resting. Okay. Just one to get off bleed. Done deal. What's this? Being poisoned will make you lose sight and thus making it harder to affect hits. Oh, man. Poisoned as well. Could he do poison? I think he's like curses and stuff. Put something lit up then. Alright, bring it on, skellies. Anything in here? That's where we came in. We're fine. Campfire in here. Someone's been in here recently. Sorry, I keep making that noise. I just have to check if there's anything in Captain, here. What is this place? I don't know. Let's see something like this once, Anya. You probably know what I'm talking about. Something odd. 
old, but we didn't come here for sightseeing. The ancient buried garrison in Forum Woods. Same alien looking ruins. The same artifacts as powered by magic energy. Hmm. Wow. Let's take a look. Well, nothing bad will happen. Doesn't look like it's in uh, the greatest repair. Big open. Magic energy in its purest form. Uh, only the best wizards can harness it, but never on this scale. The knowledge halls of Carnevrion hold such an orb of pure magic energy. A single orb? It's no bigger than a cooking pot. And the spell to hold that thin container are only available to the Grand Masters. Uh, Carnevrion. I didn't know priests studied in Carnevrion. Well, they don't. Not usually. But the path that takes one in the service uh, of the Nine is never simple. And it can start in the strangest places. So he was a mage before, before he became a priest. Let's touch everything. We don't need... <laughs> um, okay. This machine's like nothing I've seen before. Touching it all. Oh, it's like a portal here. Hologram. I was going to tell us a story. And then there's just a flame. I don't know if there needs to be a flame here. Whatever these magic things are, they're using magical energy. How is this possible? Siphoning it from the core of the earth. This looks ominous. Welcome to the halls of... Who are you? Servants. <laughs> Intruders. Uh oh. Alert. Alert. Servants have breached the halls. Come on now. This sounds like trouble. This time is not of my doing. <laughs> and I have witnesses for that. Oh, jeez. For once in my life. Oh, watcha. Wait, there's. We're gonna talk to you a sec. Oh, God. Are we gonna be attacked? Well. Uh, Ejidiku Mura Mara Requilium. Hi. Uh oh. Cavern? I can talk. I stuffed it. Oh, you idiots. Here we go. I told you not to touch the console. Alien soldiers. How did you manage to enter this place? We just walked in. It was those damn goblins. I told you they would be trouble, but you had to do your research. <laughs> Silence. That dumb beast found a way to break the crystal at stall. Uh, it must be so, or that concealment spell would have never failed. Why have we cut off all the time? Let me interrupt your rants for a second. <laughs> Why don't you send a bolt at them instead? Um, what are you doing here? Research, Research knowledge, knowledge beyond, beyond your wildest your imaginations. Wildest imagination. The ancestor's knowledge is so vast that it would take centuries to decipher. Their ability at mastering magic energy is beyond anything a common wizard could dream of. I am here to learn all that, and you are bothering me. Oh, he's a wizard. And look at this thing. It's still functional. Um, what are you doing here? Who are you? I am Viljan, master scholar of the third circle of Thaumagant, keeper of the... But why am I telling you this? <laughs> You're dead already. Hey, what is this place? <laughs> Nothing your feeble alien minds would comprehend. These ruins are ancient. So ancient, in fact, the Sephirian Empire started studying them almost two millennia ago. Whoa. And they were just as ancient to them as they are to us. So it is you who created these magical wield wielding goblins. Should have figured it was a natural, shouldn't, wasn't a natural occurrence. Created uh, the stupid beast stole that shiny stone and took off. A traveler's key in goblin hands. 
There's nothing, there was nothing good that it could come out of this. Enough of this. You only waste my valuable time. And the automated defenses you idiots managed to trigger will be a pain to deal with. Gods, deal with this mess. Oh, he's run away. Wait, we haven't got, we haven't got things attacking us. Just these guys at the moment. I don't know what that watcher was talking about. Jeez. Calm down, guys. All right. Um, hail of arrows or a trap. I'm guessing this is better. Oh, he's so close. He's bleeding. It might only do like four damage. One of the characters HP. Right, so we need to hit them with stuff. You're out of here. You don't really need to heal too much right now. I don't know who he's going for. Ow. A bit crazy swift. You got three. I, oh, he's kind of like a elite. So elites must have three action points. Makes sense, wouldn't it? Um, may as well just use this. You're going to have to heal yourself, mate. That'll work. Kind of. It's not really strong enough, is it? Especially if he gets critical hits. He could be dead. He is dead. Jeez. It's so hard to stay alive with our group. Okay. I don't need to heal. Side attack critical. Alright. Um... Just, yeah, we should be able to take him out, yeah? This will sure... Oh, come on, lady! You could cause us the battle here. No, I'm okay. Okay, good. Uh-oh. I'm not ready. Oh, jeez. Oh, no... I don't know why they get to go first every time. Oh, look at all the cogs in them. He just fell over. How hard are these guys going to be to hit? They probably won't. Oh, they, everything bleeds, isn't it? Oh, they're level six and seven. They were doing pretty good. We'll take these hits. How bad are they at close range? Not too bad. How do these things even function with those massive cogs, hey? Floating, floating cogs everywhere. All right. Back up, mate. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll just, we grabbed everything. We need a rest again because we're bleeding by two. We're going to need a rest anyway. Okay. Who are you? What, who, what are you? Big, okay. Do you understand the common tongue? Servant speak detected. Oh. Formulating low level creature answer. Servant tongue input accepted. What are you? Information forbidden. What are you doing here? Master protection assistance. What master? There's no one else here. Input evaluation. Input correct. Analyzing purpose. Current objective unclear. Detect it. Detect directive to protect and serve unattainable. Fine, take care, little thing. Okay, all right, I'm trying to rest. Okay. I click resting. Um, let's do pretty good rest here. That looks pretty good to me. Do both of them because we can. Okay. Nice. Okay, are there going to be more and more? Um, what about our items? Do we get anything good there? 
another bow. I'm gonna need another bow at some point because this thing. Oh no, I'm fine. Yeah, my bow and my shoulders are not looking great. Nothing new. Lots of stuff, but nothing that we need. So there's yellow ones and there's blue ones. Well, that's not green. This one is. Okay. Save it. Can't get it to work again. Thought walking on these could be bad, but it's not. Oh, gear recipes. Look at this thing. So alien and still so familiar. I can swear it's a statue of me, Divi. I didn't know any better. This place is gigantic. The, the structure seems to be going down many levels. How do you, how do you build, build something like this? And how do you keep it hidden? <laughs> Sometimes they read the whole thing the way they don't. We I can't see the statue, unfortunately. Maybe we'll see it over the other side. Some cloth. Some blueprints, but what for? Let's to find out. Heavy chest recipe. Medium gloves recipe. Inventory full of these? Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna have to little have a little look at our gear again. Uh, level one greens. Anything level one greens is gone. It's not level one green. Level three greys, gone. these heavy greaves weapons oh we got lots of weapons here uh level one greens because we're gonna get tons of other stuff and it's so hard to try and pick through it that it's just better to pick everything up and then drop it later i guess we've got tons and tons of stuff in here that'll be good enough to start with Okay, what's one more orders group? We left an offering in replace. Can I can I just use them? Where's here we go? Oh, we got tons of stuff. Learn them all, mate. Blood forged broad axe. So we've been getting these recipes. I haven't even noticed. Piety headpiece. Spell blade of the wizard. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's got agility, but. But agility doesn't mean what I think it means. That increase the energy of pull of a character with that favors energy. They make the character cast more spells. Yeah. Learn that. Oh, sovereign chest plates. This is the new thing we just got. Strength intelligence. Anyone could use it. Recipe not learned. What's this? Minor energy potion. Antidote potion. Oh, that's what she gave us. But we could make them anyway. Alright, that's cleared some space up as well. Oh, we got 21 bandages. Probably, uh... Well, this is far as it goes. There's no way further into the ruins. The hallway's completely collapsed. Probably this whole part of the structure is, by the looks of it. Um... I wonder what they were looking for here. I want. I guess we'll never know. No enough to give the Chancellor a thorough report. There may be more to discover below, but at least the Isarians won't be the ones doing the discovery. Okay. Maybe it wasn't locked before we got us got it in trouble. Uh, I wonder. I've, I've done this already. Okay. Right. There's no danger from the goblins becoming magic wielders. Just very good thieves, and that much we know already. Very well, let's go back. We're already late as it is. The Chancellor Waldemar is not known for his patience. Sorry, I haven't been reading my book. Did we just get a chest piece? Or is that another plan? Did we get this thing? Hardened. What is it? Can't wear hardened mail. 
So agility isn't actually that bad. Increase the energy pool for energy, so you can cast more spells before resting. In addition, it also increases critical chance for all spells and abilities by 0.5 and 1% dodge for each 40 spent. So agility is not actually that bad. Okay, for now we know that. Maybe we can swap things out a bit more. This gives 14 magic armor. Nine, nine, one. Still not that much better, even though they're level seven. All right, that noise is annoying, so let's get out of here. Okay, so we can't do anything else here. We're off. They're playing around with things they don't know, and they've destroyed the whole place. Eh? Like, this all looks modern, and out here looks like it's um, ancient. Not modern, you know what I mean? ancient technology and this all looks medieval technology where'd that dude go I'm sure it's oh nice and bright out here now that's good okay so we need to go over here that's the last place we worked out a whole lot of stuff. I can't like do a main save, so I just made a quick save it. Be all right. Back on the roads. Everyone, jump in here, guys. Nice. Agility. Well, with nothing in it, we haven't really gone right at the corners over here. But I don't think. Oh, it might be something. I think that's it. All right, let's go and talk to these guys. Not talk to them, probably attack them. Maybe talk to them. Unless this is an official inquiry, please move along. Oh. I'm not paid to chit chat. Damn in distress. I found these notes in the bandits' camp further up the road. Uh, the sergeant examines the notes with a frown. This is confidential information. You say you found this in the abandoned camp. We don't even know where the, there was one in the area. God, you doing your jobs or not, mate? Confidential information? Yeah, this sort of thing that ministry aides compile. Then pass down to the guard post around the kingdom's bigger sections. And the guards update them to keep track of their accuracy. That they made their way into the hands of the bandits means that either a guard post somewhere could be attacked or there's a corrupt official or ministry somewhere in this route and considering the number of papers here I'm leaning towards the ladder how come you didn't know anything about the bandits honestly I'm, I'm ashamed to say I don't know they seem pretty organized and must know a thing or two about keeping a low profile they, they're just over on the left over there they have they have been problem uh they have probably been no survivors of their raids to warn us either and I, I don't know really uh know what know what the symbol next to the names mean yeah, the red shield here means the wagon or caravan is guarded. The cross means they didn't pass through at the expected time. And the, the green one? I don't recognize it. Maybe it's targets the bandits hit? Is there anything else you can do to help with the with you with this matter? Not at the moment. I don't think so. I'll have to send a runner with this information back to the ministry. Then we'll see what comes up. Search ways to develop any further? I'll let you know. Thanks for biting, bringing, us this, bringing this to our attention. You're going to let us know. We're about to just run off. Damsel in distress complete. Saw a wounded soldier limping back in the Daeg Forum. He mumbled something about a powerful enemy general leading the Israel forces. If that's true, we're in, for, we're in for a tougher fight than we thought. Flaming Chris. Um, I don't think anyone can use it, unfortunately. That's a level six thing here. Physical, magical, agility, and crit. So I have a clue if that's good or not. It's hard to um, figure out what is really good. Strength. Increase the power of abilities for the character. In addition, every 50 points in strength will also increase initiative attribute by one. So anyone can take anything, really. Um, Like intellect... Increases your character's mana pool, but doesn't agility too. Oh, that's energy. 
cast more spells. Okay, so agility is specifically energy, and this guy has none. Okay. So agility is not good for you at all. Intellect is, but strength is good for you. Increase the power of the abilities for this character. We'll have to check. Let's, um... I, I don't think it would. So if we look at your... Holy, holy Strike. It was 43 to 58 damage. We put on this thing, which gives you a whole lot of... No, agility is no good. We need a strength thing. This gives you 14 strength. And it's not changing intellect by that much. What is it? It's this thing. Oh, it's a two-handed friggin' weapon. Um, That's agility. That's a two-handed weapon as well. It actually increases everything by a decent amount. Is this doing eight? Yeah, okay. So this is... It's going to be hard because it's increasing intelligence by two. It's hard to know. I can't even remember what I said it had was doing now. I'll check it later with something else. When we have something like specifically like his shoulder or something. Okay, let's have a look. Um strength up, stamina, but intellect's always gonna go down, isn't it? The best thing to check is probably a weapon. It's so hard to tell. Here we go. This is gonna this is just better. Yeah, I'm not sure at the moment. Hard to test it without a specific I guess we can just take something off. Stamina durability. So this doesn't have anything on it. Any any legs? No legs. No boots. Agility. Strength goes down here. And agility goes up. So that's probably something to check. Okay, so there's the boots. Got strength 4. So our attack is 44 at 60. Jeez. 44 60. Exactly the same. But it's a small change. But maybe strength does nothing. It, it would make sense that it does nothing. All right, we're out of here. A couple of days later, after a tiring road through the Ilian countryside, the party arrives in Thalamar. Hastily converted into the wartime capital of Elion after the loss of Erevrand, Thalamar's advantage lies in its position far from the Azerian threat, but still well connected to all the major Elion regions. The town and its old fort quickly became the center of the kingdom's defense. And now for the all-important meeting with War Chancellor Waldemar. Okay, so they were connected to everything. How are they so well defended? Um... Uh... Lies in its position, far from the Izalian threat. Okay, but still well connected to all the major Ilian re regions. So this is the last bastion of defense now. The last thing we've got. Whoa! We're in sight! What do I get? Helmet? I'm so quick that I just kind of couldn't even see it. Something was new, but you know, we, got, we can't wear anything anyway. Alright. Here he is. I thought we should do a major save. Maybe we're going to take this whole thing on our, with ourselves. Because uh, we're supposed to get a keep somewhere. Outpost of the Great Fiend Wars. Let's go. Hello. What Hi. can I do for you? Salama. Welcome, Captain. Or should I say Commander? I trust you're well rested after your adventure in the forest of Nerdundas? A charming place, if my sources are correct, and quite time-consuming. Quite time-consuming. Okay. Charming, that's an interesting way of seeing it. I'm sorry, it took so long, Count Chancellor, but there are complications. I'm no longer Commander Ch Chancellor. Dragon form is no more. My command has ended. Now don't take away your position, mate. 
Uh, I'm sorry it took so long, Chancellor. Sure, I understand. But I can't miss the fact that we would have been talking days ago if it wasn't for your desire to do the impossible back at Diagmara Someone had to do something, mate. Now, before we get down to the matter at hand, I had some questions about your report. Fair enough. The Azirians were making themselves at home for quite some time there, from what I gathered. Where? Right under our noses, in what still is Elyon land. Guarded Elyon land. This is Dragon Marasti, duh. This is the second play. When he just got there, we got hit by a catapult. How did they go unnoticed for so long? How did they know about the place? And most importantly, what were they looking for? I don't know. They teleported in there, mate. In the forest with with this war, the guards can hardly keep the road safe. Well, they don't even know about the bandits. They're right next door. Still, had, still we had no knowledge of the place. Uh, and they did. They seem to be conducting some research, guarding, guarded by undead and magical creatures. Um, as dangerous as the Izarians are, I believe we might actually have bigger issues at this point. Like what? We've got that ancient crypt kind of ancient technology, but I would say that the necromancers' hordes that are bashing down our gates are the biggest threat. Um. Let's say conducting some research. Their abilities with the dark arts are indeed extraordinary and a cause of great concern to us. Yep. In the forest with this war, the guards hardly keep the road I safe. Nobody paid attention anymore. With so many of our troops busy defending Diagmarastir and even more retreating to Thalamar. Yep. Still, having an Assyrian scholar so deep in Ilion territory was a lot of risk. Even for the mighty Aesirian Empire, even with the war going so well for them, a member of the higher orders of Thonargond with only a few guards, there must be an important reason for such risks. Is that the guy that ran out of the building? Or is that someone else? But they lost this round and we won. I'll send a team to secure the entrance to that place. Okay. We'll have to research that further. Roger that. Um, we have no knowledge of the place, and they did. Why is it? Okay. Well, that's not entirely correct. It's not common knowledge anymore, but you might have stumbled upon the Sephurian outposts that are scattered across Elyon. Some of them are just small buildings. Others can be a few levels deep. Uh, able to host a whole company. So this is these Sephurian. Is this ancient technology? We did see one ages back, apparently, we said. And some were just dug too deep. The rise of the Sephorians was built on digging greedily into the depths of Zoria. And sometimes I feel their downfall was brought the same way. Gone into the core. Uh, as dangerous as the Azirians are, I believe they might actually be bigger issues at Indeed, the, point. the object of their research, maybe. That could become a cause for concern at some point, but we are not there yet. The Azirians remain the biggest threat to the very existence yeah, of Yeah, I, I probably agree with that right now. Army, as with their newfound knowledge of the dark arts and the wave of undead that follows it. Because of this, Captain, that I am entrusting you with a mission of the utmost importance. Well, I would have thought these guys would be panicking. They'd be try trying to get weapons. That were, you know, this is the last bastion of defense here. Okay, give me this utmost important mission. You are to take command of the Rithvale outpost. Commander, it's an old outpost dating back to the Great Friends War, hidden in the forests of Rithvale, and hidden it should remain so for the time being. The Friends War, isn't it? Fiends? There's a fire ends. So soon, I barely returned from Dragon Master. Well, look, mate, we got people racing at this place trying to take it down. Um, we got to get on it. What's this about? A different approach. Over the last few months, it has become apparent that we can't defeat the Azirians on the battlefield. And you have seen that firsthand. Twice. We need another way if we are to win this. And after much consideration, I have decided to resort to more covert operations. Some assassinations. During the Great Fiends War, Fiends, the kingdom yeah. was defended by a series of small outposts scattered all over the countryside. A few of them are still in existence, albeit in a rather decrepit state. 
During the Great Rape Fiends War, the kingdom was defended by a series of small outposts. The Rithvale outpost is one such place. It's not in the best shape, but it will do for now. Wasn't that what we were just doing before? We had massive castles that we're trying to defend. Now we got little keeps. Um, those outposts are over a century old. They're probably barely standing it as they are. Dragon Form was a fortress, exactly. The greatest of the Iron Chain, and it still fell within hours. It fell, indeed. And this is why another defensive position would be a mistake. Okay. The outpost will not serve as such. It will be your base. All right, why don't we just make this my base? How are we supposed to mount a defense then in case we're attacked? We are not preparing a defense. We are preparing an attack. And for this reason, it is essential that your initial moves are hidden from prying eyes. Okay, okay. So we're going to kind of stab in the side. Once there, you will establish a self-sufficient base and start recruiting your own team. There are a few soldiers I can spare from the defense of our city. Can I have a paladin? You will not need many soldiers for this particular assignment. What are they called? A, um, a person that can take a hit. This is indeed a surprise, Chancellor. What are we to do then? That's simple. Special missions inside Azirian territory to weaken their army and investigate for ways to defeat them. Okay. You are free to do this through any means necessary. You will need to recruit as diverse and competent a team as possible. Cool. I can't help you much with this. What I can do is release Christian and Anya from their duties here and let them accompany you. Judging by the way you work together on your way here... I believe you have all the necessary qualities to do this. Okay, she was a tank, wasn't she? That's good. And one more thing. One that mage I girl, Emanora, I believe you met on the retreat from Diag Faram. She's also wanted to join you. And since she's no soldier, I could not order her differently. The mage girl? I don't remember a mage girl. That mage girl, Emoniora. Maybe when I see her, I'll remember. You spoke with Emonia already? What about Garrick? We fought together at Dagon Forum and we were to meet here in Thalimar. They should both arrive in Rithvale soon. Garrick, I could have ordered differently, but his mind would have been with you anyway. At least now, so is his sword. They left about a day ago. Oh, they're already there? Getting things ready? Very well, Chancellor. The pieces seem to be in the board already. You are a respected leader already. Commander, now is your time to prove our trust is well placed. May Torath watch over you. May Torath watch over me. A new mission. There's a chest over here. Can I just um, have a little look? What you've got in here, mate? Thank you. Some supplies. You don't need them. Silent Flynn. He doesn't want to talk. Silent type. You feel a slight tug on your coin pouch and freeze on your tracks. Your hand and suddenly going towards it. You look around but see nothing amiss. A distant, thinly an annoyed coughing nearby as you're turning around to see a young woman motioning towards your pouch. You follow a movement and discover two notes inside the pouch. Okay. The first one reads, Thief for hire, willing to work for the greater good of the kingdom. Inquire for one Celine Flynn. The second one reads, Okay, pal, this is the third time I pickpocketed you. The first time I dropped the note. The second time I noticed the note was still there. So now I'm leaving another note and drawing your attention to it. But you're the thief? I was trying to talk to you. Oh, finally, he notices the note. I'm starting to question your powers of observation, Commander. What am I saying? I'm completely given up on it, believing you have any. It's clear that someone like me needs to be in your circle of close companions. Who are you? Celine Flynn, at your service. Say, so right there in the, in the note. I'm thinking I'm going to add reading to the list of things you're not very good at, Commander. I'm starting to be apprehensive concerning your chances in this war. Uh, why would you want to join me? My reasons are my own. She should be changing her opinions, apparently. But rest assured, they are noble and of pure intent. 
or whatever floats your boat, honestly. I'm just trying to do the right thing for once. So what do you say? Going around pickpocketing isn't a great start, mate. Of course it isn't the proper way. You're going to be getting a sample of my skills right out of the gate. That's why. And you know what, they're, what you're hiring. And you're saying? Here I am, Captain, at your service. Okay, so we got, all right, all right, I guess I'd rather have you on my side than against me. Plus, there seems to be a rising need for good spies, infiltrators, and people with the light fingers. I wonder if she says the same thing if you're an actual thief yourself, because you'd be a bit disgruntled. I'm not convinced you're the kind of... You know, we can grab as many as you want, I think. So, you're in our group. Just push me out the way. I'm sure you've stolen my rings. Pushing the guards around as well. Didn't even know there was guards here. That's how observant I am. Uh, all right. The Isurian Empire. Like, okay, so that's kind of the map. Okay, so these are the three things. And what was it? We were here. That got taken, and then we went here. And where's this place? But just everyone just pushes me around. Outpost of the Great Fiends War, which we've already read about, haven't we? Oh no, this is the little outpost thing. Long before the construction of the Iron Chain during the Great Fiends War, the Kingdom of Elion built a series of outposts on what were its borders at the time. Quite small and housing only a little more than a company. They proved, proved nonetheless a vital to the defense of Elion and its survival. Although of great importance during the war, most were abandoned afterwards almost as fast as they had been built. Now sitting deep inside Elion territory, the outposts became useless as border gates and were made obsolete as defenses uh, altogether by a massive fortress of the Iron Chain. You'd think there'd still be towns or something. Most of these abandoned outposts disappeared from history during the centuries of peace that followed, but a few had a different fate. Some were kept by the Elian military as training camps, and some almost along the trading routes were converted to, uh, by the population to inns or even developed into small towns. There we go. Except for uh, these few locations, little is known of the fate of the abandoned outposts. There's probably something underneath the outpost as well, potentially. Okay, um, who are you, a merchant? I've got two merchants here. Trader and a shady trader. Uh -oh. Browse your goods. What do you got? Supplies, purified water, glass vials. We kind of need these, don't we? I've got 15,000 bucks. Oh, no, he's got 15,000 bucks. I've got 12. Hundred. Uh, sil silvered vial. What's the difference? We'll grab one of them as well. Oh, you can repair all my goods. Ouch. Oh, and you can take Sunder away from me as well. That'd be good. Oh, you may as well. My goods are the highest quality. So I could sell. I've got so much stuff. The thing is, I'm gonna. I'm about to get a whole lot of dudes. I could sell all my level one stuff. Wonder what the difference is like from greys to a blue. I don't know how much stuff I'm doing before I get to that place. Let's sell every all the level one stuff. I'm sure we'll be able to get better. What's this? Hector of the Harvest. Oh, it's an axe? Look at the look at that axe. Looks like a shield. Um, alright. Getting Final Fantasy stuff here. Um We'll leave the blue stuff, I guess. I don't know what's already up on sale, like or is it disappearing? No, it's not. Alright, sell all that. Everything's two and above. I don't know if the blue stuff's worth keeping. No, nope. everything level one is gone. We gotta make room. Okay. Uh, we'll have a look, quick look at the shady guy, and then maybe I'll just do it myself, so you don't have to watch me. Oswin. Greetings, greetings! I'm a Count Oswin Goldstruck. Privy uh, of fine goods and assorted treasures. Please indulge in pursuing my collection. I'm rest assured that Betrand 
My devoted attendant is at your service should you seek additional items of interest. What do you got? Common weapon kit. Uncommon. Light judgment gloves. Champion's ring of courage. Sun catcher bottle. I have no idea. Could be really, really important and I'm not going to get it. But it's so expensive to get four. Can't even afford four. I'll get one. Because it's gold. War Staff of Command. Literally only has... Oh, it's got 16 agility in it. No, I can't use crossbows. Uncommon crafting kit. Okay. How much is, like, my ingredients worth, I wonder? How much are those, like, golden nuggets? Oh, man. Oh, that's all four of them. Okay. I guess we'll save our money. I don't know, you know, what's going on with all this stuff yet, realistically. Um, and we'll just find stuff anyway. Wizard's weed. Oh, it's ingredient for cooking. And that's for alchemy. That's just a crystal. All right. So I don't think there's anything we wanted out of this guy. Fire bloom, acorns, bandages. Specifically for food. Like, do we want some more supplies? Wait, they're so cheap. Oh, it's a single supply. But like, just grab all the supplies. Okay. Oh my. Kingdoms of Ilion. Canevrion. There's a lot of, um, I think it goes into my journal, but then I won't be able to keep track of what I've read and what I haven't. Locations. This is the Chancellor. And then story. We saw them. Whoa, we got all sorts of extra images we haven't even seen yet. Orders from Thalamir. Uh, following the report of Chancellor Weldmer. Is this where we're going? This looks way too built up. So I don't know what I do want to do with all this reading. I'm not the best reader ever, but I really like the lore and everything. A certain amount. What, can I come in here? Who are you? The Royal Librarian whispers a long lost prophecy uh, hidden in the ancient tombs of the castle's archives. It speaks of a weapon that will bring the end of the war and restore balance to the land. I hope it's a bow. The Chancellor is said to be secretly searching for it. Oh. Thanks for the tip. What do you got in your chest here? Um. Okay. Thank you. Alamir. Oh, That's what we already just were reading. South of Inland Kingdoms, Thalamir was always too far from the main path crossing the kingdoms. This, this will all be in my satchel. We need to kind of work out what's going on, don't we? Whoa. Lava place. We'll be down there for sure. Uh, believed to be the home of the Nine. Uh, Verkumana is a place of legend. Where few people have ever set foot during history, and even fewer live to tell the tale. We'll be there, don't you worry about it. A gigantic landmass east of Uran. The, isle, the island is a volcanic hell of smoldering rock and smoking peaks. Crossed by rivers of molten lava. The gate to the world of the Nine and their home on the, these lands. With mountain taller than any on the continent, Bakumana is surrounded by thick clouds. Its tallest peaks only are rarely visible. Cool. The nine. The nine gods? Or... No. I'm not very well, am I? Kingdom of Ilion. History of the Kingdom of Ilion spans across centuries, dating back to the dis uh, disillusion of the great Sephirian Empire. 
stretch across almost the entire continent of Uram. So these are people that ancient technology. After its downfall, the Severian Empire split it, splintered into three smaller kingdoms that occupied what is now regarded as Ilion, Ilionian land, and that would later reunite into a singular entity under the rule of King Erleon. During the Great Fiend Wars, the dominion of Philondi brought death and destruction to the land of Ilion, along with most of the continent of Uram. The death toll would late, later lead the survivors of this war to refer to the dominion of Philion, Philondi as the Dominion of Fiends, a grim and fitting nickname that remained with the Dominion to this day. Fiend Wars. Dominion of Philondi. So they're not actual fiends? It's just another one of the um, sects. Okay, so we got... That's the mountain area. It's like its own section. Badlands. This is the whole continent that they were before. This is where we are right now. And we've been, we've been taken out. Uh, the kingdom in them survived, but at a great cost in human lives. One that would lead the kingdom down a path of war. Uh, deterrence through sheer military might. Uh, from the point forward, the kingdom of Elion would go on to rebuild and further boost its army in a sustained effort to shield its people from conflict. A great political, economic, and infrastructural effort was undertaken to construct sturdy fortresses and fortifications on their borders and to modernize and maintain a well-prepared army that could be mobilized at any moment and we still failed unfortunately for the people of Ilion, they would find themselves th thrust once more into a bloody war the israel empire once a peaceful republic of the north so that's them up here of uh, Ilion now a uh, major crassy ruled by a powerful mages and necromancers seek dominance over the land of uram and as such, the subjugation of the Ilion people, all of the Ilion's preparations served as, as uh, served the kingdom well for almost 10 years, with the fortresses of the Great Iron Chain holding strong against any attack, which could not hold on forever, and they started creating ne necromancy stuff. Presently, the kingdom of Ilion is a shadow of its former sh um, self due to lo losing more than half its territory. Alongside its capital of Everand, to the Isirian Empire, the last fortress of the Great Iron Chain, Dag Forum, has been defeated, and the remaining of the Ilion army is retreating to Thalamere. This is a very up-to-date book. War capital and the home to what is left of the Ilion government and royalty alike. Uh, this is... Oof. This will be at the end of the video. So if people don't want to read all the thing, they can just jump to the next one. As the name suggests, the origins of the complex of uh, Carnivrian lies with the dominion of Philanon. So this is the thing that attacked them, the fiend wars. It was the dominion whom first established a small training camp for mages in this place, sometime during the Great Fiend War. To take advantage of the isolation and strong con uh, concentration of magic in these mountains. Situated to the north of Vinion, in a small but tall mountain formation, Carnivrian was only a brief held by the dominion of Philondi. During the siege of Vin Vin Vinion, the place was conquered by Ilion shortly after the siege. Okay, so we conquered it. When the Israel Republic launched a surprise attack on Wanlion and forced the dominion on a hasty retreat in the defense of their capital. But the use of this place as well as the name remained. During the uh, centuries that followed, the mages of Elion took full advantage of the quantity, well, the qualities of the place, its isolation and magic uh, properties, slowly expanding the tr training camp and eventually establishing a high college of magic. Okay. Today, the large fortress-like complex is housed to all the relevant mage institutions of Elion. The High College and the Mages Guild Council being the most notable. With high black walls and the tallest focusing tower in the kingdom, the complex is imposing as is impenetrable to anyone not skilled in magic arts. The building lacks any kind of access bridge and only those competent enough to conjure the can visit the place. 
Uh, a rather effective and ingenious gatekeeper. This feature of the Carnivian is the main reason for the high level of skill in the arts of the Conjuration and the Mages of Ilion displayed. So, sorry if I'm getting all this, like, some of these names. Names are, names are horrible for me. I don't know why I have so much trouble, but I was just going to look at that map again. Can we see that? It's not that place. Can't see a massive castle, and this is this one here. In the um, the other lands. Okay. All right. Well, I'll leave it there because um, that's a whole lot of text that people might want to not might not want to read. So we can just jump into this next episode and explore the rest of this keep. Okay, right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. I'll see you next time. White Falcon out.